So now that you have access to Google Workspace, what does that really mean? You have access to Google Calendar, keep track of all of your upcoming events. Google Drive and Docs is where you will have your documents. You'll also have your spreadsheets. You can also do your slideshows through slides. You also have your forms, which are part of the Drive and Docs. The forms will allow you to send out questionnaires, feedbacks, forms to anyone you want. You also have Gmail, which is the one that you'll probably use quite frequently. You also have Keep, which is a great note-keeping task management tool. It's uh, free to use. You can also add each one of these apps onto your smartphone. And then at the bottom here, we also have Google Meet. There's also Hangout and Google Chat. So these all kind of work somewhat together, somewhat apart. Meet is going to be like your Zoom, so you can do your video conferencing. Hangout has a lot of the same features. And then Google Chat allows you to do text chatting and uh, messaging back and forth. So you have quite a few different options. And then also at the top here, we have Google Currents which allows you to do kind of a private social media post, which can be really great for projects that you're working on that everybody can contribute to a particular feed rather than having avalanche of emails hitting your inbox. Everybody working on a particular project can have one branch that they are contributing to. So all the documents, all of the notes, all stay current. With, and that's why it's called Currents. So that's pretty cool. Uh, contacts, you can add your contact list here, which is great. Good way to manage that. Typically, if you respond to someone in your email, it will start to show up in your contacts list. Or you can also modify those yourself. And then the last one on here is Classroom, which kind of provides all teachers, students, the ability to have a classroom, online classroom environment here that they can work from. It's a great place to post your Lesson plans, a great place for evaluations. Just a great tool if you um, need something like that. So again, we've got Calendar, got our Gmail, and we have the Drive and Docs, which house your Google Forms, your Google Docs, your Google Slides, and your Google Sheets. And then independently outside of all of those, you have Keep, which is, can be incorporated into all of the other apps. So you just have to turn it on. And then for your online meetings you've got the google hangout google chat and google meet so you really have quite a few tools that you can engage from from here